hello friends let us now learn some important points about the stimulants so in the stimulants the first stimulant is cocaine cocaine is derived from erythroxylum coca this is um, did, uh, studied by sigmund freud studied this cocaine pharmacological effects of cocaine initially cocaine is used as an local anesthetic it is used especially in eye nose and throat surgeries it is used in eye nose and throat surgeries the mechanism of action of cocaine is very important it is this cocaine is a reuptake blocker of all the amines cocaine increases the uptake of choline thus it increases the uptake of dopamine when it increases the uptake of choline it is an attention hormone has it increases dopamine uptake it is a kick hormone has it increases serotonin and noradrenaline uptake it is a happy hormone so we call it as uh, so this cocaine gives very good effect cocaine causes vasoconstriction of peripheral arteries these are the bad effects because it causes vasoconstriction of peripheral arteries it causes hypertension vasoconstriction of epicardial coronary arteries in our heart that will lead to ischemia and myocardial injury because of vasoconstriction of epicardial coronary arteries then if you see the most common substance abused which is associated with seizures is cocaine followed by amphetamine is the most common substance which is abused so if you see the root the root um, is first inhaled that is snorted because it is snorted it has vasoconstrictive properties which will lead to nasal congestion and finally it causes nasal septal perforation then the cocaine is also smoked if it is uh, smoking it is done by free basing so and it can also be taken by subcutaneous or iv route so if it is smoked this cocaine should always be uh, added or combined with an adulterant like sugar or propane and it forms the street cocaine and this street cocaine can be smoked and to this street cocaine we can add free base also that free base is chemical extract of pure cocaine is free base so those are used for smoking mainly then we have long term use of cocaine is on using for longer time the patient develops jet black pigmentation of the tongue and there is speed ball speed ball is called has cocaine plus heroin together we call it has speed ball crack crack is a free base form of cocaine which is smoked is crack free base form of cocaine which is smoked is crack this is an extremely craving drug which is for, for one single use which causes intense craving so if you see the intoxication yeah cocaine it causes euphoria pupillary dilatation it causes tachycardia and hypertension it causes sweating also on acute cases it causes paranoid delusion or it causes auditory hallucinations and visual illusions this cocaine also causes tactile hallucinations and that is called as cocaine bugs or formication or magnens phenomenon we call it as cocaine bugs or formication or magnens phenomenon so if you see the withdrawal symptoms strong psychological dependence is seen for cocaine and there is strong psychological dependence is seen mild psychological dependence is also seen in mild psychological dependence the patient has feeling low exhaustion the patient starts feeling low exhaustion lethargy and fatigue is seen has withdrawal symptoms then most severe withdrawal symptom of cocaine is depression most common withdrawal symptom of cocaine is mainly depression and also suicidal ideation are the main withdrawal symptoms of cocaine then we have cocaine induced psychotic disorder this cocaine induced psychotic disorder is the is 
is more commonly seen in IV and crack users. In IV and crack users, we see uh, cocaine induced uh, psychotic disorder where there is paranoid delusion which is delusion of persecution, auditory hallucinations are seen and cocaine bugs are also seen in this cocaine induced psychotic disorder. Then the treatment of this is it causes withdrawal syndrome which is mild withdrawal syndrome so as a result no treatment is actually necessary. Long term maintenance we can give amantadine and bromocryptin. Now the next important drug is amphetamine. Amphetamine has dexamphetamine and methamphetamine. Uh, dexamphetamine and methamphetamine. Amphetamine on long term it can cause amphetamine induced psychotic disorder. If it causes amphetamine induced psychotic disorder, this mainly contains, which may, this mainly comprises of paranoid delusion or delusion of persecution and auditory hallucinations are seen. And auditory hallucinations are seen. Then we have tobacco. The next ingredient, the next uh, one is tobacco. Yeah, one more thing which I forgot here is because the um, the cocaine which we are talking about this cocaine causes hypertension and sweating and it when it causes um, ischemic because it has increased risk of causing ischemic myocardial injury we always have to treat the intoxication of cocaine mainly in the coronary care unit. Long term maintenance of cocaine is done by amantadine and bromocryptin. So this is most important form. Then the next important uh, abused drug is tobacco. It is most easily available right. It is tobacco. So tobacco will this tobacco will increase the choline percent, choline hormone and it also increases the dopamine. So the active ingredient which is present in tobacco is nicotine is the active ingredient which is present in tobacco. This nicotine activates the stimulation action thus improves attention, learning, reaction time and also problem solving ability. It improves attention learning reaction time and problem solving ability this nicotine can it causes cardiovascular disorder also especially due to carbon monoxide then there are withdrawal symptoms which can be seen due to tobacco intake so this most common these withdrawal symptoms most commonly develops in two hours and they peak in 24 to 48 hours the patient develops from develops craving irritability, anxiety, difficulty in concentration. There is the patient also develops bradycardia, drowsiness and he also develops paradoxical trouble in sleeping and the patient has increased appetite and also weight gain are also seen due to withdrawal symptoms of tobacco. Then if we see the treatment first pharmacotherapy. So in the pharmacotherapy first we have nicotine replacement therapy where we uh, give nicotine uh, where, where we give the patients uh, nicotine gums nicotine various nicotine preparations like nicotine gums nicotine la nicotine gums nicotine lozenges nicotine patches and nicotine inhalers and sprays are also given to the patient. These will replace the nicotine and thus these will also give the pleasure that the patient gets while, while uh, smoking. Then buprin, bupropion is the first line agent which can be used for 12 weeks. This is a noradrenergic dopamine reuptake inhibitor. This the next drug is vereniclin. This vereniclin will mainly act on 7 nicotinic ac acetylcholine receptors. It acts on 7 nicotinic acetylcholine receptors and this verenicline is a partial agonist on alpha 4 beta 
2 receptor it is a partial agonist on alpha 4 beta 2 receptors this bupropion if you see the doses it is started with a dose of 0.5 mg per day od followed by 0.5 mg bd followed by 1 mg bd and you will have to continue this for 12 weeks so this is about the most important um abused substance which is tobacco and cocaine thank you for watching